Good evening. I just want to share with you some information for those um, awaiting their true love and those ladies awaiting their true love um, and being in prayer to the Lord about who God has purpose for you or um, people that you meet if those are the people or if that's the person God wants you to start dating or courting. Um, but I just want to share with you a little bit about my story about how God did reveal to me in December 2018 um, my true love. Actually, he said my true night, and then he later revealed it was my true love. And he had put a picture in my mind, you know, when I questioned to the Lord about it. I said, well, who, Lord, who, may I ask? And the Lord revealed it was, you know, I seen the picture of his last name in my mind, you know. I, I literally saw it, like, cursed it out, you know. So anyway, um, <clears throat> but what I was going to share with you is that my situation's a little bit um, different, maybe, in that I do have to say that God is such a gentleman that, you know, he waited until after my divorce was final before God revealed that he was um, sending sending um, my true knight, true love, um, revealed. Um, and, of course, you know, God doesn't share with me when that would be. Um, but I had contacted him in December 2018, and he did say at that time, um, I didn't realize he was going to have to be, to be at work pretty soon when I was talking to him. And so he did say he would give me a call back that night or the next night for sure. But I didn't hear from him. And I did know before I contacted him that he was in a relationship. And he had been in a relationship for a year. And so I guess I just felt like um, I needed to contact him because maybe he was thinking about marrying this person. I don't know. Um, so that relationship of course has delayed um, things happening and being that I contacted him when maybe I shouldn't have contacted him um, you know made things worse um, as far as you know more challenges in in our lives separately and but I just want to share with you um, I have had contact with him a, num a number a few times you know on the phone and some of those times that I had um, talked to him, he had said he would call me, you know, that night or the next day. But three of those times, he didn't call me. Um, and I don't know what's going on in his life right now. I know that I um, did not post as much things online. He does look at my posts online, or at least he was. Um, Right now, I don't know know what's going on with him. Um, if he, <clears throat> I think he's not in this other relationship anymore, um, but I don't know for sure. Um, and I think, you know, he's not watching the videos here on YouTube anymore. And, you know, I pray for him, and God is still showing me and revealing things, you know, that he's still coming back into my life in different ways and through God thoughts. Um, and let's see what else. Um, but I haven't actually got an, I haven't got a call from him, you know, since uh, November of 2021. And God reveals things to me, you know, in my dreams and kind of gives me an idea of what's going on possibly in his life. Um, like I have some dreams that I've had that, uh, in, that was, you know, of him and I uh, meeting at his workplace actually. And then in the dream, it, it just went, um, there were some other things that happened. And then I had another dream um, in my life that really, involved my my daughter and other family members there and it also went sideways too but I'm saying that in that you know I've thought about sharing those dreams but it's almost like um, kind of some terror and horror in those dreams and um, 
I did get something out of those dreams in, in that um, I prayed for um, Blue. I prayed for um, my daughter in the situation um, in both of those cases where the dreams um, seemed like there was like some demonic activity coming against them, against us. And um, so I did pray for them prayed against that evil that has come against them um, in their lives personally and in my life personally. And, um, but, so I haven't shared those dreams with you because I just uh, don't know exactly if I should share the whole thing or not. Um, but I'm just letting you know, you know, that we have to trust in the Lord with all our heart and lean not into our own understanding and we walk by faith and not by sight. And even in in this case, you know, I see things where God is moving and he's um, opening doors and I see him working, lining things up in, in certain areas of my life. And I see from the um, visions and the dreams and the interpretations he gives me and even some of the artwork where he is working things out and I am encouraged online here because there's a number of YouTube um, fellow youtubers that are ladies that are um, also waiting for their true love whether their true love is revealed or not um, they are encouraging people to you know continue to look to the Lord and not to give up and you know because we don't want to make a mistake of settling or making a decision to be with someone else that's not God's choice or God's pick for our life because honestly if you're if you really knew the future you would want to be with the person God has planned for you not who who you think is right or you think um, is is meant to be you really need to be in prayer about that and be in God's leaning for that because he's going to make um, a, dy a dynamic couple with you and another person that he has purposed for you to be with and um, he I really do believe he has purposed that in our lives you know before we were even born um, so before the foundations of the world there's scripture that backs that up and so um, let's see so I'm just encouraging you to all um, hang in there and to keep looking to the Lord and I also I don't know if you've heard this um, some of the fellow youtubers have said things differently from each other that to me it backs up what's to come um, for things to happen like um, one of the youtubers said that she had a dream where it was like all of a sudden there's a flood of people that were proposed to and going to be getting married and there was no wedding dresses available at the stores there was none to be found they were all sold out and it was hard to find a wedding dress and then another youtuber separate from the first one that I just said she had said that there was going to be um, the jewelry stores were they're going to be out of rings they were not going to have any more rings and and another person again different from all of them are different from each other and even some of them in different countries um, one of them had just said that there's just going to be a flood of um, marriages happening at the same time kingdom marriages so these same youtubers um, that I'm following and I listen to their their sites and uh, they're personally waiting themselves for their true love that God has chosen for them for their kingdom spouse so you know they're encouraging also again to hang on don't give up and just um, keep keep um, standing on the promises that God's given you and adhere to those promises God's given you personally keep praying for your kingdom spouse um, like I said I don't know what's going on in Blue's life right now I have had a thought that maybe he's um, seeing somebody else now um, not with the one person but seeing someone else but yet God has shown me in this dream that I just posted 
in the interpretation of that dream that in 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 other times too god revealed that he's like working things out um and if he is split up from the person that he was with i mean he he should have some healing time you know um before i think before you contact me but um i know it's been hard on me um as far as like just making certain decisions that I really thought he would be here to help me make those choices instead of me trying to uh, make these decisions on my own. But um, it's okay. God's providing, and He's providing some new doors that are opened, and some some people that will um, help me with what I need to do. Um, but I just want to um, share in real time what's going on with me and give you an update on Blue and which is bachelor number one in that I, you know, I had contact with them again, um, end of last year, but I haven't talked to him on text or phone or in person since then. Um, but I am still moving forward in the steps that God's laying out before me and trying to complete those tasks that he's having me to complete. And, um, bachelor number three, um, you know, he's really been great as far as, like, just um, understanding and um, just helping me where he can as a friend and being there for me, um, you know, during this time. And um, he's going to start helping me with my business because um, I need to keep the doors open. And I just have a hard time even getting there on time and being there by myself and then I end up having situations in my personal life you know where um, guys are asking me out and I'm just um, I know that I'm I know what God's revealed to me and and what God's shown to me and I can't ignore it it's just like it's this has been going on for um, over three years now where God's been continually um, sharing with me revelations of what he has planned for my life and my I say new and renewed family and um, restoration of my daughter and my grandkids and the future he has for them um, if you get a chance look at bestowed life it's really awesome what he says about my daughter and my grandchildren um, to give me a glimpse of what his plan is in their life and it's really awesome um, I know that there's things that God's revealed to me about Blue in that even the right people that I try to get help from, even the right people won't be right until he's in place to basically help manage them or help me make decisions about what, what each person would do or help with. Um, he did also reveal to me that uh, once we do come together that we will um, be we will live until um, until the Lord comes or until we're taken up to the Lord like we would be together like um, living in life um, together till till the Lord comes so it sounded like it would be maybe till the rapture actually happens um, I haven't shared that before um, and let's see, I don't know, there's so much, I don't know what, where else, what else to tell you, um, I'm sorry I haven't kept up on, on some of the things that I could have shared with you, um, sometimes I think that I'm not meant to share them, but then now I understand that I was, should be sharing more than I have and, and getting more artwork done than I have gotten done now. So I'm trying to work on that again, get some more artwork done. And um, thank you, anybody who has been um, following my channel that has uh, prayed for me, prayed for my family situation, um, prayed for my, you know, true love revealed um, to, you know, uh, have his heart secured in him and, and um, make contact with me. Um, but I encourage you to just hang in there and we can't always lean into our own we can't lean into our own understanding because it doesn't even make sense you know when we try to figure things out on our own
God already has a plan and we just need to draw near to him and close enough to him that we can step into those steps of his plan for our lives and um, anyway I don't know I feel like I'm rambling now but God bless and take care and we look forward to um, the next video Lord willing um, just be looking to see which one I should post next okay okay take care and God bless okay